Hi, I'm Philip Stratum, a physics honors student at the Northwest University Center for Space Research. As part of my studies, I was tasked with trying to optimize a research quality stochastic model for solving the Parker Cosmic Ray Transport Equation, which was done by looking at the underlying pseudo-random number generator to try and see if other, newer generators can act as replacement. For the uninitiated, cosmic rays are highly energetic particles that fly through our solar system. They originate from multiple sources, such as particles accelerated by Jupiter's magnetic field, or for the most energetic variety of cosmic rays, from outside of our solar system. As they travel, they are affected by the Sun's magnetic field, as well as the plasma heliosphere in the solar system through which they travel. To describe the transport thereof, the Parker transport equation was developed to mathematically model this behavior. This model includes all of the phenomena that the cosmic rays are subject to as they travel, such as drifts or turbulences. The stochastic model consists of the first transforming the Parker transport equation into a set of ito stochastic differential equations. This uses the Weiner process to iteratively follow the particle step by step as they travel in a time backwards manner. Here, a pseudo random number generating algorithm is used to obtain a random time step. The process requires that the random values be Gaussian distributed, and to achieve this, a Box Muller transform is used. Also, the values should not be correlated in any way. The model runs over large particle counts, which were then averaged over defined energy steps. The original code was written in Intel Fortran and parallelized using MPI. Previous research with this code was done by Maloto et al. in 2018, with the code running on a CHVC cluster. To test for optimization, first the identified random number generators were simply run to generate a varying amount of random values to get an idea of their runtimes. Then they were implemented into the model and run for different particle counts to gain insight into their statistical viability along with their scalability. As a side note, all of the tests were performed on identical hardware with Intel processors and the code running parallel on seven threads. The current version of the code uses the widely implemented Mersenne Twister pseudo random number generator, but six candidate replacements were identified, namely Wickman Hill, Ranlux, KISS, Zorshift, Zoroshiro, and Mixmax. As a note, the candidate random number generators were chosen on the basis that the code was freely available and written in Fortran. Other algorithms might make excellent replacements. Also, care was taken to ensure that all of the algorithms can run in parallel and that the streams are independent from each other. For the number generation test, we see that all of the identified algorithms seem to perform faster than Mersenne Twister, with Zoroshiro being a standout and Mixmax performing slower than expected. Next fastest was Rickman Hill, Kiss and Zorshift, with them all being relatively close to each other. Looking at the model outputs, all of the algorithms save for Wickman Hill seem to be accurate in comparison to the Mersenne Twister output. But note that for higher particle counts, Mixmax and Zoroshiro seem to slightly diverge near the peak of the curve. This was confirmed by calculating the percentage the deviation of the outputs to that of Mersenne Twister. Lastly, the runtimes for the different generators were plotted, with the solid lines being for conditions where the current sheet tilt angle is positive, and the dashed line being for those of negative tilt angles. It can clearly be seen that Ranlux gets an easy disqualification due to slower runtimes across the board, and that at least in terms of performance, KISS and Zorshift make the most compelling case of substitutes. Interestingly, Mixmax and Zoroshiro perform slower only when the current sheet tilt angle is greater than zero. From this, it is recommended that for stochastic models, KISS and Zorshift should be considered for possible replacements for the Mersenne Twister if better performance is desired. Further testing might also reveal that Zoroshiro and Mixmax are plausible. Finally, other options for possible optimization might be to optimize the code itself. Clearly from the model runtime and generation runtimes, the pseudo-random number generators do not seem to be the performance bottleneck, as KISS and Zorshift have the identical model runtimes but faster generation runtimes. Also, looking at other Gaussian transformation algorithms such as the Wallet or Ziggurat method might be a source of further improvement.